Before we begin, please remember this video is for educational purposes only. Everyone's body is different and results can vary. Always talk with your doctor before making any changes to your diet, supplements, or activity routine. Imagine if something as simple as a natural powder could help your body do what it once did, with ease turning fat into energy, keeping you active throughout the day and restoring the tiny power engines inside your cells. This process takes place deep within your mitochondria, those remarkable little powerhouses that keep every heartbeat, every breath, and every movement alive. And what's fascinating is that this isn't some futuristic idea. It's something real, studied in labs, supported by clinical research, and experienced by people around the world. Today, let's take our time to walk through it clearly and simply. We'll explore how a natural compound called spirulina can help reduce fat cell size, support mitochondrial repair, and improve energy perhaps even more effectively than the well-known methylene blue. But before we talk about what spirulina can do, it's important to understand why this matters so much as we grow older. Many people assume that feeling tired with age is just a natural part of getting older. But the truth is, much of that fatigue isn't inevitable. It's often caused by the gradual decline of those tiny energy plants in our cells, the mitochondria. Think of your mitochondria as miniature engines. When we're young, those engines run smoothly. They take the food we eat and turn it into steady, reliable energy that powers everything from our muscles to our brain. Over time though, those engines start to wear down. They accumulate small amounts of damage and the gears don't turn quite as efficiently as before. Suddenly, even when you're eating the same foods, your body struggles to turn them into energy the way it used to. This isn't just about feeling a bit sluggish or needing an extra nap. It represents a deeper change in how your cells function. And here's where it gets truly eye-opening research suggests that around 90 to 95% of people experience some level of mitochondrial dysfunction. That means most of us are walking around with cells that aren't producing energy as effectively as they could. When that happens, everything feels the impact. Your stamina decreases, your focus becomes foggy, even your body's ability to burn fat for energy slows down. At that point, it's natural to wonder, what can I do about it? Should I drink more coffee, try a new energy booster? It's a fair question. But here's the key difference. Quick fixes like caffeine are only surface level. They might make you feel alert for a short while, but they don't address the real issue. Caffeine is like turning up the volume on a broken speaker. It makes things seem louder, but the distortion is still there. It doesn't repair the problem underneath. What we're talking about today works differently. These natural compounds go deeper, more like a skilled mechanic getting under the hood to restore the engine itself. They don't just mask fatigue. They help your cells work the way they were meant to. One compound that's been getting a lot of attention lately is methylene blue. You may have heard of it. It's a synthetic substance that scientists describe as an electron donor or electron carrier. In simpler terms, that means it helps move energy through your mitochondria, even when some parts of those tiny engines aren't working properly. Think of it like building a small detour around a blocked road so traffic can keep moving. And uh, according to research, it really does make a difference. It helps those struggling mitochondria create more ATP, the form of energy your cells actually use to power everything you do. But here's where I'd like you to focus for a moment. While methylene blue is powerful, it's still synthetic. And many people, especially those who prefer natural approaches when possible, might be interested to know that there's another option, one that can work beautifully on its own, or even enhance the effects of methylene blue if both are used together. That option is spirulina. You've probably seen it before, that deep blue-green powder in health food stores that almost looks like it came from another planet. Maybe you've tried adding it to a smoothie. But what many don't realize is that spirulina isn't just a trendy health food. It's actually one of the most researched natural compounds known to support endurance, energy metabolism, and overall vitality. And its real power lies in what it does inside your cells. Here's how it's different. While methylene blue helps your mitochondria process fuel more efficiently once it's inside the cell, spirulina works earlier in the chain, it helps deliver the fuel into the cell in the first place. Specifically, spirulina supports the transport of fat, one of your body's most reliable and long-lasting energy sources, into your mitochondria, where it can be used to generate energy. Let me explain how this happens. Your body has an enzyme called carnitine palmitol transferase, or CPT1 for short. Think of CPT1 as a gatekeeper. It controls how much fat gets carried into your mitochondria to be burned for energy. Here's the issue. As we age, or if we deal with metabolic challenges, that gatekeeper slows down. It becomes harder for fat to enter the mitochondria. So even when you're eating well or trying to manage your weight, your body can struggle to actually use fat for energy. 
It's like having a car with a full tank of gas but a clogged fuel line. Spirulina helps clear that line. Studies show that spirulina can increase CPT1 activity, which means it opens the gate wider, allowing more fat to flow into your mitochondria, where it can be converted into energy. And the results are impressive. Research on athletes, and yes, even if you don't think of yourself as one found that after just a few weeks of taking spirulina, participants experience better oxygen use, more efficient fat burning, improved conservation of stored carbohydrates, and enhanced endurance overall. So what does that mean for you in everyday life? It means that the things that used to leave you tired, a walk around the block, tending your garden, playing with your grandkids, might start to feel a little easier, a little lighter, and a lot more enjoyable. You might start to notice you're not craving those sugary snacks in the afternoon anymore. That's because your body has learned to tap into its own fat stores for steady, lasting energy. You may find you can go longer without feeling that sudden drop in energy, your stamina feels more consistent. And here's something truly fascinating. Spirulina doesn't just help fat reach your cells, it also contains a powerful antioxidant compound called phycocyanin. That's what gives spirulina its striking blue-green color. Phycocyanin has been shown to boost your body's natural antioxidant defenses, especially glutathione and superoxide dismutase. These are like your body's built-in cleanup crew, sweeping away the waste and byproducts that build up when your mitochondria create energy. So spirulina is really working in two ways at once, helping your body bring in more fuel and helping clean up the mess afterward. Now, what if you could support your mitochondria naturally without depending on synthetic compounds? Or for those who are curious, what happens when spirulina works alongside something like methylene blue? This is where things get truly interesting because while spirulina is remarkably effective on its own, some people have found that combining it with small amounts of methylene blue can support mitochondrial health from two unique directions at the same time. Here's an easy way to picture it. Spirulina is like ensuring your car has a steady flow of clean, high quality fuel going into the engine. Methylene blue, on the other hand, is like repairing the spark plugs and wiring so that engine can use that fuel efficiently, even if it's a bit worn or aging. Spirulina helps transport fat into your mitochondria. Methylene blue helps those mitochondria process that fat more effectively, even when they're not functioning at their best. It creates an alternate route, a kind of bypass that allows energy production to keep going, even when parts of the cellular machinery aren't perfect. And here's where the antioxidant connection becomes even more powerful. We mentioned how spirulina's phycocyanine activates your body's natural cleanup systems, glutathione and superoxide dismutase. Well, methylene blue also acts as an antioxidant itself. So when you combine them, you're addressing oxidative stress, that gradual cellular rust that builds up from energy production from two directions. One encourages your body to step up its own defenses. The other works directly to protect your cells. It's a bit like having both a home security system and a loyal guard dog double protection. Now, it's important to be clear you don't need methylene blue. Spirulina alone is already incredibly effective. But for those who face more metabolic challenges, maybe you're dealing with stubborn weight, low energy, or insulin resistance, the combination may provide that added layer of support that helps restore vitality to tired mitochondria. And if you do choose to explore methylene blue, Keep in mind, we're talking about very low amounts, typically in the range of four to eight milligrams, not the high doses used in medical settings. Just gentle, supportive levels that work in harmony with your body's own processes. Now let's bring this out of the lab and into everyday life. What does all this cellular science mean for your daily experience? For your energy levels and fat metabolism? Here's the wonderful part when your body becomes better at using fat as fuel, everything begins to shift. As we get older, Many of us tend to depend mostly on carbohydrates for energy. The problem is that often leads to spikes and drops in blood sugar. You might notice that you need to eat every few hours or you start to feel shaky and irritable. But when your mitochondria are working efficiently and your body can easily access fat for fuel, you tap into a steadier and longer lasting energy source. Fat burns slowly and evenly more, like a log glowing in a fireplace than paper that flares up and fades quickly. Research has found that spirulina can increase the rate at which your body burns fat, a process called fatty acid oxidation. In simpler terms, your body starts to rely more on fat instead of just carbohydrates. And when that happens, your energy stays more stable throughout the day, and over time, you may naturally reduce stored body fat as well. This isn't about following a strict diet or depriving yourself. It's about helping your body make better use of the fuel it already has. There's another fascinating benefit that scientists have noticed. 
spirulina helps your body clear out lactate more efficiently. You might remember lactate or lactic acid as that burning feeling in your muscles when you push yourself too hard, but it's not just waste. Your body can actually recycle lactate back into usable energy through what's called the pyruvate cycle. By helping to remove lactate faster, spirulina is essentially helping you recycle your energy. That means better endurance, quicker recovery, and the strength to keep going a little longer before you need a rest. For someone in their 60 seconds, 70 seconds, or beyond, that can make a real difference, feeling energetic through a full day of activities instead of fading by mid-afternoon. It could be the difference between fully enjoying that long-awaited trip or keeping up with family during the holidays without needing to retreat for a nap. We've covered the science and the benefits, but how and when you take spirulina matters. This is where many people get it wrong. Spirulina doesn't work like caffeine. It's not something you take anytime hoping for a quick boost. It's more effective when used with intention. Research suggests that taking about two to three grams before physical activity works well for most people. Some athletes use higher amounts, six or seven grams, especially for longer endurance activities, but there's no need to start there. If you're just beginning, a couple of grams is more than enough. Here's the key. Spirulina works best before aerobic activities like walking, light cycling, swimming, or gardening. These steady rhythmic movements are when your body naturally uses fat as its main fuel source. That's when spirulina really shines, helping your body move that fat into your cells so it can be used for energy. If you're doing resistance exercises like weightlifting or using resistance bands, the effect might be less noticeable during the workout itself. Those exercises rely more on quick bursts of energy from stored carbohydrates. The same goes for methylene blue, both are most effective during steady aerobic activity. Still, even in strength training, these compounds can help with recovery between sets and support your overall cellular health. So, while these nutrients may not be as noticeable during resistance training, they still play a meaningful role. They simply tend to show their strongest effects during endurance style activities. If you're thinking about combining spirulina with methylene blue, the same timing applies, take them before your aerobic exercise. And remember, less is often more. Keep methylene blue doses low, typically around four to eight milligrams. That range tends to be effective for most people without overdoing it. There's another important thing to keep in mind, quality really matters. Not all spirulina products are created equal. Some lower cost options can contain heavy metals or be grown in poor conditions. It's best to choose spirulina that's been carefully tested for purity and comes from a trusted, well-regarded source. The same goes for methylene blue, if you decide to include it. Many liquid versions sold online can have higher than expected levels of metal contamination. A few manufacturers do specific testing for purity, so it's worth spending a bit of time finding one that takes that seriously. Now, let's bring it all together. Spirulina supports your body by helping fat move into the mitochondria, where it can be converted into steady, lasting energy. It enhances an enzyme called CPT. Think of it as a gatekeeper that allows more fuel to flow into your energy centers. It's also rich in antioxidants that help your body clear out the cellular stress and wear that naturally occur during energy production. Plus, it helps you process and recycle lactate, improving endurance and speeding recovery. All of these effects combine into something powerful, the potential to reduce stored fat, restore vitality, and promote healthy aging, all without relying on stimulants or drastic measures. When used alongside low-dose methylene blue, you're supporting your mitochondria from two directions, helping more fuel get in, and allowing your cells to use that fuel effectively, even if they're under strain. It's a gentle yet effective one to two boost for your metabolic health. But here's what truly matters, your energy, your metabolism, your sense of vitality aren't fixed just because of age. Your mitochondria can be nurtured. Your body's natural energy systems can be strengthened. And often the simplest, most natural tools make the biggest difference. If this information resonates with you, Feel free to share your thoughts or experiences. Have you ever tried spirulina as part of your routine? What did you notice? And if you'd like more evidence-based insights to help you stay strong, energized, and healthy strategies that truly work from the inside out, feel free to stay tuned for more practical advice on aging well. Because in the end, this isn't about chasing youth or believing in quick fixes. It's about understanding your body and giving it the right support to thrive at every stage of life.